if, if that's a place, if you're working in a place where an administrator or a district is frustrated and threatened by that, uh, <clears throat> maybe that's another conversation we need to have. Hey there, class kickers, and welcome to another edition of the Kicks and Class podcast. This is the show for you, the educator, and it's designed to help you kick some class, whether you are a beginning teacher just trying to figure things out, or you're an old grizzled veteran like me and you're trying not to burn out, we have tips, tricks, tutorials, conversations, and the occasional tweet response like you're gonna get today to help you out um, and kick in some class in school, at home, and in life. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, guys, so I had this tweet response back to me this week about my podcast. Obviously, you're checking that out right now, and it's from uh, Heidi Castano. And she said, are you still teaching how to keep your podcast anonymous? Now, have you ever heard this idea that there is a question behind the question? And I think what Heidi is talking about here and, and is this idea that if I speak up and I talk about some things on my podcast that I feel like need to be addressed or things that we could talk about in education, are those things that are going to blow back on me, give me some repercussions of, you know, talking about it because I'm still in the classroom. And every time we hit this idea of burnout and talking about teachers feeling burned out, teachers feeling not supported or going through something like that, there's this idea that maybe, just maybe, somebody's out there to get us, right? And I, you know... I can't minimize what Heidi's saying here because a lot of people actually do think this way and feel this for reality. And it may be a reality for you. I really hope that it's not. But the idea that we need to be able to have these courageous conversations anyway. Now, if you're in a place where that's not the case and you don't feel that way, then by all means, I'm not trying to minimize at all what Heidi's getting at here. But I am still in the classroom and I feel like I'm in a place where I can say pretty much whatever I need to say. I'm not being disrespectful. In fact, my heart in all of this is to help and improve so that we can truly be for the kids and what's best for the kids instead of that being used a lot of times to manipulate teachers to get something to do that, you know, something that really isn't what's best for kids. But I think if we're taking this approach where we're willing to have a courageous conversation, where we're willing to say, hey, this policy, this practice, this thing that we've done forever is not really what's best for students, then I think hopefully if, if that's a place, if you're working in a place where an administrator or a district is frustrated and threatened by that, uh, <clears throat> <laughs> maybe that's another conversation we need to have. Like that, that's, that's unfortunate, right? I mean, that's like a student disagreeing with us in class and having a valid reason for disagreeing. We don't kick them out, right? <clears throat> we actually encourage them to think for themselves. And if educators are thinking for themselves, if educators are looking to improve upon the system that we have in place, then that voice that we say all students need some type of voice and choice in the educational process, that voice for educators needs to be validated. That actually has to be supported and listened to. And in fact, one of the reasons why a lot of teachers are feeling burned out right now is because they don't feel like anybody has any idea what's going on in the classroom. They don't realize how difficult things have gotten. They don't realize the stresses that we're under. And so therefore, they're not being heard. And maybe that's where Heidi's coming from here. So uh, I want to encourage you. Go ahead and, and take this opportunity to have a courageous conversation. But if you're in a place where you feel like you cannot, I'm always willing to take anonymous things from uh, from people to say, hey, can you can you go ahead and talk about this on the show? So if this is an issue for you where you feel like, hey, I'm not so sure that I can share this out. I can't really have my name attached to it. I want to be anonymous. But I do want to bring some voice to the conversation. Then uh, I do have a solution. If you go over to Twitter um, and hit the hashtag kick some class, I'll show you. This is Heidi's tweet one more time. Kick some class on Twitter and I'll get that. That'll come right to me. I'm, I'm watching those hashtags. And so you can kind of get that out there or just hit me up at bald side and I'll bring that courageous conversation to light and hopefully it brings a change. You know, that's part of my goal here is that I'm here to support you with things to make you, you know, think about things differently, to give you tips and tricks that actually make your job easier. But also, if you've got a conversation to bring to to light, some some you know point of view that we want to bring across, 
that's what I'm here for. So I know that if, if I'm thinking something, right, good teaching practice, if you've got a question, there's probably a few other students in the class who have a question. Well, if you've got something you're going through, please don't feel like you're going through that alone. Get that out to me, whether you don't feel like you can be, you know, uh, out there in public or not. There are definitely thousands of other educators that feel the exact same way that you do. We don't have to do this alone, right? And maybe with our collective voice and having that these courageous conversations, we can see some change in education. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope it you know gets you out there out of your comfort zone, maybe to kick some class, have a real conversation with your administrator, those around you, maybe a teacher that you trust, and we can be working together to make a difference in education. So I hope that that helps you kick some class. And if it did, I hope you'd share it with somebody else. Give me a review on this podcast, like, subscribe on YouTube as well, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.